My name is John McAvoy, and I work for the Federal Records Center program of the National Archives and Records Administration. This module will demonstrate how to modify an existing Arcus user's profile, and will also show you how to inactivate or reactivate an existing Arcus Portal user account. Let's take a look. To modify an existing user's profile in the Arcus Customer Portal, simply click on User Administration and query for the person whose profile you need to modify. In this case, we're going to look for Gordy Howe and click Go. Next, I select and click on Gordy Howe's last name here. And in whatever profile setup function that I need to change, for example, maybe I need to go to Record Group, I simply select Record Group from the list come into the modification area and let's say this time we want to get rid of record group B22 so I'm going to highlight it this time over on the right side and make sure that I have a selection flag checked and I'm going to click delete selected and it removed record group B22 and now I click done and of course done again now to inactivate an existing user's profile. This time we'll pick on Murray Bannerman. So I will drill down on his last name and I will navigate to basic user information and click on it. And over here on the right, you'll notice his user status area. So if I click on the drop down box, I have active or inactive. So what I'm going to do here is select inactive and then I'm going to click done. Now I'm going to click Done Again. And now you'll notice that Bannerman's status has been marked as inactive and the system has automatically reset his password and scrambled it to something that's unintelligible to anybody. Now, if Mr. Bannerman happens to call the Arcus Help Desk to say, I need a password reset, the Arcus Help Desk already knows that you are a deployed agency and they will kindly refer Mr. Bannerman to contact his agency administrator. And the agency administrator will know that Mr. Bannerman is no longer with the agency and will not reset his password. But in the event you do need to reactivate somebody, similarly, you simply find them and click on their last name, click on basic user information, change their status to active, and then change their password. And here you just have to type in a brand new password. You don't have to worry about what the old pa scrambled password was. So we'll do change 12 pound again. And click done. And of course, done again. And then I'll email Mr. Bannerman his temporary password with a strong suggestion he needs to go in and change it himself. And that concludes our module on modification, inactivation, and reactivation of an existing Arcus Customer Portal user. As always, help is available for the Arcus Customer Portal. You can access a wealth of information at the Arcus website, as well as access to all of the training manuals for all of the available components of Arcus. Link to that via www.archives.gov slash FRC slash Arcus. There, too, you will find a link for the Arcus Help Desk entitled Get Help, and that will provide you with information about the hours of operation for the Arcus Help Desk in St. Louis, as well as their phone number and an email address. And lastly, you can contact your Arcus administrator.